Stay chill. Stay chill. Stay chill. Hey, you guys, what's going on? Dre, you're looking good. I see you've been taking those supplements that Dr. Atlas recommended. Brett, you look like a little wimp. Why are you crying so much like a baby? Dr. Hirsch, the lab is closed. Brett, what's the problem? Could it be that I'm tenured and you're not? Dr. Hirsch, the lab is closed. <laughs> Let's get this dog and pony show going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Dre, don't they know it's absolutely impossible to do the freaking 15 freaking freaking crown preps that Dr. Apt expects us to do for each day? Don't they know that, Dre? I know, right? We're in school to learn dentistry, and we did everything they told us to do. You did film the labs every night before 12, right? Uh, definitely. De definitely. A president of the United States. I'm proud of her. She deserves this. Even if it only lasts. Oh, shoot! Watch your video. Enjoy it. Have a good night. Somebody had to be in charge of closing the lab. I guess we gotta find out. Dre, I know we need to figure out who did this before the class sees this and completely freaks out. Uh, hey, Dr. Apt, uh, sorry to interrupt. No, 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 I'm just working on my daily email. How are you boys doing? Chilling. Yeah, well, um, actually, we had a question for you. Uh, so yesterday at 5 p.m., a sign went on the door saying that lab was closed. What? Are you joking? Wait. You didn't know about that? No, of course not. I expect you guys to be in the lab all the time, working on fixed prof. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking then, where were you at 5 p.m. yesterday when that sign went up? Me? I was giving the daily announcements to the class. Oh, right. I do remember those announcements, of course. Of course. Greetings, everyone. I hope you all read the manual because we have a lot to do today. If you didn't, I'm going to read it out loud to you now anyway. And so today we are going to need a lot of things. So please, when you get to the lab, take all these instruments out of your drawer. You need your Explorer, Perio Probe, your Curette, your Mar your handpiece, both high speed and low speed, your mirror, and your And that is everything for the first thing due today. Now for your three unit. So uh, do you know anyone else though who, who may know anything about this? I would go talk to Dr. Maggio, maybe she knows. Dr. Maggio. Let's okay, do thanks, Dr. App. No Appreciate problem. It. Bye, boys. Hey, Dr. Maggio, how are you? Good, boys. How are you two doing today? Still chilling. Yeah, well, we're okay, but. We're actually trying to figure out who shut down our lab. 
And just wondering if you know anything about that. Well, I've been in here writing my exam all day. And while I have the two of you in here, would you mind helping me with a question that I'm writing for the D1s? The question is, when do you use composite over amalgam? A, never. B, always. C, sometimes. D, A, B, and... What is wrong? I just, I'm, try, I'm trying to fit all this in my locker and I just, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, sweetie, let's go speak with Dr. Maggio. She will know what to do. By the way, have I ever showed you either of my beautiful Greek sons? You will be perfect for one of them. You are so kind and so beautiful. Thank Here, I, I will show you them. I, I can't seem to, can you help me? I think first we will just flip it. Perfect. Right side up. These are them. And okay, go ahead on in in there and speak with Dr. Maggio, okay. sweetie. Okay. And C, E, maybe A, but sometimes B, F, I don't know, G, all of the above, kind of, H, A, but not C, maybe B, sometimes E, only on a Thursday. Hi, Dr. Maggio, are you free for a second? Get out! Can't you see I'm working here? Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry, Dr. Maggio. We were on our way out anyways. Well, we're, you we're boys sorry. can stay as long as you'd like. Probably should get going, though. Thanks. Okay, oh, wait, before you go, can you grab my Burberry bag over there? Do you see it? It's the Burberry one? Yeah, that one, the Burberry one. Mm-hmm, thank you. Yeah, the Burberry one, thanks. It's okay, sweetie. I will set you up with one of my lovely sons and you will feel much better. By the way, we should talk about infection control now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to figure this out tonight. I guess we're just gonna have to figure it out during lab tomorrow. But people are not gonna be chill. Dre, I know. I, I guess I better make a Facebook post about this now. I'm gonna have to find a freaking picture of a cute animal. Duck in tuxedo. All right, man. Catch you later. See you, Dre. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you doing coming into the lab and you have no lab coats on? You need to come in the lab with the coats on. Let's. As well, uh, I mean, Dr. Navis, um, sorry, uh, do you have a quick second? I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. I need to make an announcement because no one knows what they're doing, okay? Real quick. <laughs> okay, hey, you guys. <laughs> Uh, just one quick announcement. I'm very disappointed in how no one comes to my class. Uh, no one ever knows what you're doing in dentures because you don't read my manual and you don't come to class. I'm not mad. I'm just really disappointed. Is that okay, though? Um, so, uh... Shh, no, no. It's me again. Just one last quick announcement. Uh, I just want to make sure you all are following the fire safety protocols because there's no reason that you don't know it. Everyone knows you go through the back hall, through the wardrobe, into Narnia. Then when you're there, you meet a leprechaun and he'll take you to the unicorn and the Loch Ness Monster. There's no excuse for not knowing them. If you want to be treated like adults, you must know these things. Okay, thanks. Um, so, uh, so we were just wondering if you knew anything about who shut down the lab after hours. I didn't do it, so don't ask me any more questions, okay? Sorry, thank you. What you doing in here? Is this not endolab? 
I'm pretty sure because there is a bottle of endo ice right here. Hello? Hello? Is the quiz open yet? No, Dr. Setzer. The quiz isn't open until tomorrow. On my laptop, it says that it is 3 or 5. Could you please check again? I promise it's not open for another 24 hours. It's at 3.05 tomorrow. So no one has periapicopopitis? I could check with my endo ice? Keep your endo ice away from my dentures. OK, fine. I'll sit here and just watch some soccer. The festivities begin. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you're doing this all wrong. Let me fix this for you. Okay, here we go. Nice. Now, where, where y'all going? Where y'all going? Uh, the, no, not here. That you're trying to find out who goes down the lab. Yeah. But don't, don't worry about that. Listen to me now. Now, look, look here, okay? What's that? Mesial marginal ridge, one millimeter. They must be aligned. Where's your periodon pro? Periodon pro. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I don't know. The gingiva. It's, it don't look good. Clean it up. Harlem back cover. I don't, I don't know. No Harlem back cover. Pink gingiva. Look at that. Not all gingiva is pink. I remember you lecturing about that. I do. I mean, you know what? It, it, it don't even matter. I, I'm going home drinking Manischewitz anyway. Young man, you use them, them chopsticks, huh? I, I hear them chopsticks are good for the work, huh? All right now. Dr. Blatz is in the house. Uh, Dr. Blatz? Dr. Yeah? Blatz. Yeah? Um, we just had a quick question for you. Do you have time? Uh, I'm doing a veneer over here. Um, I was just wondering if you knew anything about um, who shut down our lab? Uh, what lab? Um, the, the GRD laboratory, the, the preclinical laboratory. Oh, we still have a preclinical lab? How are you doing? Are you awake? Yeah, I had to leave early. That I have this freaking town hall meeting that students asked me for. Uh, no, no, that class, they left. Yeah, they're, they're, they, they went through the big of people. They, they just graduated. The class taking Naruba? No, no, they're, they're in third year. My favorite class? No, they're, they're the first year students. The reason why I had diarrhea last week? No, no, that was your mom's cooking. No, no, yeah, I, I gotta go, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm here. Any questions? Brad Lesavoy, son of Buddy and Lori Lesavoy, born April 15th, 1992, from Allentown, Pennsylvania. How can I help you? Well, um, who shut down the lab? And Brad, as you know, as your class knows, we've been working on this curriculum for years. Um, goes back, in fact, to the time I met your mom, when you're just a, a, a figment of her imagination, uh, growing in your belly. I met her once at Wegmans. We talked about it. I said to them, your parents, Buddy and Lori, that we're building a new curriculum for the time when Brett eventually enrolls in our school. He'll have a brand spanking new curriculum that, that's uh, a shift from everything we've done before in the history of the school. We know what's best for you guys. You're not guinea pigs. You're lab rats, but not guinea pigs. Okay, recognize that, that we are doing for you what we feel is best for you. Any more questions? <laughs> He got a break and went away to get a new start. But poor kid, she never got a break except the one way down. You see, the S-curve in this preparation is not quite as smooth and supple as we would want it to be. For that kind of love. You see, this S-curve is exactly how we want it to be. It's smooth and curvy and supple. You can keep it. 
I have hundreds of them. It's just such a nice S curve. Thank you. What was I talking about? S curve? Oh, hey guys. Hi, uh, Dr. Cogan. Um, so, we were just wondering if you knew anything about who shut down the lab after hours. What lab are we talking about? Um, never mind. Um, thank you. Thank you. So beautiful. We had a quick question for you. Yeah, we got a question. What do you want? Dr. Heron, Dr. Heron you forgot your lunchbox, so I got it for you. I don't uh, want you being getting hungry later. Thank you. What do I have in here? I got all of your favorites. Man, but no Oreos. I got a deal for you. I'll trade you three of these sand shark teeth for three of your Oreos. Ooh, sand shark teeth? Yeah, I got them on my scuba diving trip in the Caribbean after traveling with the New York Philharmonic while I was lead trombone. Then I came back and met the president because I saved the world. Wow. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to interrupt. Um, but we were just wondering if you guys knew anything about who closed down the lab. Yeah, who closed down the lab? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know either. Thanks anyways. Uh, what's up, Dr. Jacob? Happy on? Monday. Uh, it, it's Wednesday. Oh, but yeah. You're the very best. You're the best. Thank you. Very smart. Yeah, you'll, make, you'll make very good dentist. Very rich. Thank you, Dr. Jacob. I'm, I'm proud for you. Thank you so much, Dr. Jacob. You'll be very good dentist. Thank you. We were just wondering if uh, you knew anything about who shut down the lab. I have no idea. Nobody tells me. Okay, well, um, right. thank you for the help. Yep. Have a you're, good, you're, uh, very good, very good. Monday, Monday. The denture, it is the best, the very best. You're very good, very good. I don't even want to touch it. I give you excellent, give you excellent, very good. Beautiful, beautiful denture. I've never seen something quite so nice. You'll be very rich denture. You'll be very rich dentist. You're very good, very good. I, I don't even know what to say. It shocks me. Hello, Ed. Your coat needs to be on the whole time. It's in trouble and it's your fault. Your coat must be on, coat's on. Get your hair up, make it, uh, you know, in the back, all the girls and boys, hair out of the uh, way. And, um, oh, okay, okay, um, okay. Well, um, that is fine, that's fine, I don't. Um, oh, okay, oh no, um, you, this is a mess. Um, what, what, what is this? Uh, my, my work. Oh, okay. Um, you've got a lot going on here and um, it is uh, not so good. Uh, uh, um, sorry. I, I don't, I don't, not I don't understand why this is here. Oh, that was from another lab. At your coat, you need to button it all oh, the way. Oh, okay. All the way, people, the coat needs to be on. This is in your lab manual. Hi, good. How are you? Good. Guys, guys, check, check your flame. Some, something's burning. So, someone's flame is on. It's, whose is it? Some, something's burning. Where's your flame? Dre, I just, Dre, I don't know. Dre, I just don't know what to do anymore. It seems like whatever I do, it just ends up in failure. Hey guys, hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, honestly, Dr. Smith, I'm not that great. The lab is shut down and 
<laughs> and we've been trying all day to figure out who shut it down, and we have no leads. Dre and I have been working so hard. Oh, well, that's, that's too bad. You know, life in dental school, it's hard sometimes. Hard, hard like gypsum. So you just got to do the best with what you got and then go from there and it'll go better next time, okay? Look at this flower. Isn't this great? It, it reminds me of a flower I saw back in Hawaii. Have, have you been to Hawaii? No. No? Well, you got to go. I know you don't have a lot of time or money right now, but um, you got to put it on your bucket list. So go ahead and go, go down to White Sands National Monument down in New Mexico uh, for the gypsum, of course, and then, and then go swing down Hawaii. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Well, well, anyway, I'm sure the whole lab situation was just one big misunderstanding. So hope you get that cleared up, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some inverted combers. Bye-bye now. I listen to what you're talking about, and you need to suck it up. The lab is closed. It's time to get over it. By the way, Brett, your cast, it is not smooth enough. You're going to need to do it over again. Yo, that's rough, man. I guess we're never going to find out who closed down the lab. Friends, friends, we haven't found out who closed down the lab yet, have we? It was me. Is it over? I am so sorry. Am I too late? I just, I have so much to do in this school, and today I couldn't do it all. Am I too late? Yeah, it's all good. The video's over. I don't want this showing up on my evaluation. Follow the fire protocol. <laughs> I'm trying, I swear. Yeah? Right. You're probably wondering why it says Dr. Coben on this lab coat. They don't pay me enough money to get a new lab coat. So if we could just facilitate a small fund for me, since I've been here for almost 80 years. I met your mother. You were this. And I met your mom. She and I discussed this. You have to I cross through the wardrobe, wardrobe yeah. to Narnia to meet a magical <laughs> unicorn and a leprechaun to find the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything that is clinically relevant.
Sullivan, you are the best. Yeah, it's Dr. Nieves, Dr. Nieves, G. yeah, really, really good guy. Thanks, Dr. Maggio, you're the best. Thank you, Dr. Abraham and Dr. Cutler. Shout out to the new lab. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Rob. Use your finger when taking the impression. Okay. Shout out to Dr. Olimby. Shout out to Dr. Y. Uh, Javon, security guard. I want to thank Dr. App for teaching us everything we know about Prince Pod. GRD makes it feel really good inside. Always challenging me and putting up with all of my contradictions when you're grading me. To our class for putting up with a lot of stuff these past few years. Uh, we got lucky to have a shower in, the, in, in our school. Anyone? Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Heron, all of my faculty, Dr. Cobran, of course. Uh, Dr. Aft is like always close to my heart. Our friend Hannah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Particularly love Dr. Shelton. It's like the best patients I ever have. Uh, Dr. Cutler. Hey, Dr. Nieves, thanks so much for everything. And just like that, we're done. A la loco. <laughs>